and welcome to another Garisma Tool Tutorial. Today I am going to take a look at the color tool. So let's just jump right into it. So what does the color tool do? Well, it paints stuff. Um, well, that can be useful for most multiple reasons, but let's just um, take a look at this box here. Now, um, there's a bunch of different ways to uh, configure the color that you want. So one way uh, you can do is by out in this little box here you can um, scroll up and down until you get the color you want so let's just say you want blue and then you can here you can just kind of um, is this gonna be dark blue or is it gonna be completely black is it gonna be like kind of pinky you know you can you can um, that's that that's one way to do it and you can see it will well that's kind of grayish and if I just get all the way up here it will uh, turn completely blue um, so what you can Another way you can change this, or another way you can see how this, uh, another way you can change is, um, out here, you see, when I move around, it'll change the RGB values, which stands for red, green, and blue, um, which is basically a way you can mix up colors, so if you find a color that you like, you can just basically just type in the code here, it'll be like zero, zero, and then, let's say it's zero, zero, and then the blue is at, uh, 66. You see, it, it, it got really dark. Or if I if, let's say like I put a 200 there, it, it, it turned mostly, mostly green. And you can just kind of make colors like that. Um, so this bar here um, basically shows you um, that if you want it to be faint. So if I turn it down a little bit, you see, oh, well, that was a little bit too much. But you can like turn it up, turn it up, and then, you know, you can still look through it. So this is kind of useful for making windows, I guess. Um, so and that's that's the final value down here, um, and it goes up to 255. That's that's the absolutely max. Uh, so you can like put it to like maybe 150, and then it'll be like half. So there you go. So that's the RGB values. Um, and finally, you can just kind of pick it here, and it'll just change it completely to whatever you want. Um, yeah. So that's how you can change the color. If you want to change it back, let's say you have painted a box red, but you want it. To to be normal again you just right click on it with the color tool and then there you go and it's just completely normal so that's how you do that um so for these two options down here the render mode i can't really figure out what it does i mean it doesn't really change anything uh i don't know i don't know what that is um but the one below render fix um well that kind of it kind of displays the the, the, the color uh, in another way, so that's that's kind of like the hologram you see, so it displays it like if it was a hologram or uh, a pole. Let's say uh, the um, distort. Um, then it will. Oh well, that, that's a bad bad distort. Uh, let's let's go with this one. You see, then it kind of. Oh, hold on. It just it kind of jumps. Hold on. Why does this not work? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Never mind. But you see that 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 kind of distorts it, so it kind of looks uh looks like it's being distorted now you can just kind of like um take a look at all these options I'm not gonna go through them all but that, that's that's the one of the cooler the cooler ones I found there um, so that is how you do it if you have any questions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video